Welcome to Project Pitch It, a program about Wisconsin jobs. Next, three local entrepreneurs will pitch their ideas to local moguls. They will compete for over $30,000 in cash and awards to take their Wisconsin business to the next level. Who are the moguls? They are local business people with highly successful careers and companies. Now, they're turning their talents to help today's new job creators. Jim Lindenberg is the past owner of World Class Wire and Cable Inc. and the Milwaukee Wave. He is passionate about creating new business in Greater Milwaukee. Mark Burrish is a founder of Bright Star, a foundation dedicated to creating jobs and keeping our best and brightest in Wisconsin. Jerry Genduza is the founder and CEO of a multi-million dollar aerospace company and is dedicated to revolutionizing the local business and investment world. Peter Fagan is the president of the Milwaukee Bucks and will oversee the team's world-class sports and entertainment district. He feels the sky's the limit in Milwaukee. This is Project Pitch It. Hi. Hey. Hi. How's it going? My name is Mike Pellin. I'm the uh, founder and CEO of a company called Princeton Audio. So about two and a half years ago, I started Princeton Audio with basically two premises. Number one, I wanted to do economic development in Princeton. I wanted to build a manufacturing company in the middle of Wisconsin, as crazy as that sounds, to bring jobs there. And two, I wanted to build audio endpoints. My background is product development consulting. So what I was taught for the last 20 years is to build a product, make it out of plastic, and ship it to China. Well, shipping it to China didn't fall within that building manufacturing in Princeton, so I uh, pretty much took everything I learned over the last 20 years and just did the opposite. And so I ended up with this. What is this? Well, it's a beautiful, portable, wireless audio endpoint. And for you non-engineers, that means it's a Bluetooth speaker. It's made from tone woods. It's handcrafted, so people actually have to put it together. So manufacturing jobs in Princeton. If you guys want to hear a speaker. Yeah, sure. Yeah. So Rock and roll. We make these out of tone woods. And a tone wood is basically a wood that's crafted by a musical instrument crafted out of tone wood. Black walnut and maple are with me. Mahogany and cherry we also, we also carry. So this black walnut, I'm gonna turn the speaker on. If I tap this twice, I'm gonna to cast to it as a Bluetooth speaker. And I'm gonna just use my iPhone here to cast to Spotify to it. And so part of my demo is, the one rule is no making fun of my music. So I'm gonna put a little steely dan through this thing. Sounds pretty good. Sounds great. Sounds very unmanufactured, like a musical instrument. That's pretty cool. How much does this cost? It costs, the first one costs $359.99, or $349.99. And we do sell it through four channels right now. So we do sell it B2C uh, uh, through our website, B2B wholesale. So we do have a couple of wholesalers signed up in the state. We're also on Amazon. What's your cost? Our cost to manufacture one in quantities of a thousand are one hundred and sixty-seven dollars. One hundred and sixty-seven. What's your wholesale cost to a, a right uh, now? Two ten. Two ten. We sell to Amazon. And so what we wanted to do is we wanted to build a product that you could use as a replacement for your home stereo. But when you wanted to take one out to the to the uh, campfire and have a cigar, you could do how both. you can do both. So the other thing that I'll do here is that since we do handcraft everything, one of the things that's interesting here is that you can see this the sling that's on here. We're actually in the process of building a partnership with New Glarus. I'm worried about your margins. Yep. I mean, your wholesale margins aren't enough to really oh. make any money for you. Wholesale margins typically uh, on a, an initial product is, um, you want to be about 20%. So we're 18, 19% on the first speaker and we're 47 on the second. And so Why from 47 a, and what, what makes it 47? Because I don't have to for, sell it through oh. the wholesaler, I can sell it direct. Are they, oh, so you think you will be able to sell absolutely. it direct? Absolutely, it's already so. happening. That's exactly what's happening. Somebody gets one and then they find out they can get a second one for a little less money from us direct and they're buying it from us direct. And so I also made another speaker here that uh, we're going to give to you. Oh, again, you just touched my heart. There it goes. That's right. I can't <laughs> believe you get all the free stuff. The, I don't uh, own the mark. So. So just a so, quick, quick question on price point. Yeah. Like, where does 350 put you in the marketplace? At the top of the top and nope. on portables? Nope. There's there's portables that uh, we're about in the middle. Okay. So portables like from a Bowers and Wilkins will run you at 599. There's other ones that will run up to 899. So real high end portable speakers are are run the gamut. So Mike, thanks for your pitch. What uh, what do you need from us? What are you looking for? The toughest thing for me in this uh, in this process of starting a manufacturing company is capital. Is access to, for a manufacturing company for sure is access to capital. It's been very difficult in the state of Wisconsin. Basically, I call it chasing money. Uh, so trying to get 
access to capital has been very difficult. The other thing that I, that I failed to mention is that everything you pretty much see in that speaker is all sourced from the state of Wisconsin, not just manufactured in the state of Wisconsin. Yeah. We love to hear that. So very go nice. Wisconsin. Well, and and I, I like when you say you want to see more capital in the state of Wisconsin because that's a problem we have and I, and I hope that we can help that for all entrepreneurs in Wisconsin. We need to get more people to invest in businesses like yours. Starting a manufacturing company in Wisconsin, people thought it was crazy. And so we've, we've, we've spent the last two and a half years with shipping product. We're actually generating our own cash right now, which is phenomenal. You're far from crazy. <laughs> yeah. Well, thanks so much. Thanks. Well, thank you. Great. Perfect. Good job. Thanks. I, I love everything about it. I love the way it looks. I love the wood. I love the sound. But I just don't know who's going to pay for it. Well, we didn't get into how much he's producing, but maybe if he starts mass producing, he can get the cost down. I think of I think of manufacturing in Wisconsin as high mix, low volume, and not you're you're doing these niche little products and shapes and sizes, and then you can keep it here because the margin's a lot higher. Right. All right, Michael. So how was the experience, and what are you hoping for the outcome to be? Well, I thought the experience was awesome, and I want to thank Cardinal Stritch University, and I hope the outcome turns into something that helps me grow my business. Okay, great. Well, good luck to you. Glad you're here today. Thank you. Up next, see how this entrepreneur turns fruit into delicious works of art. And later, we'll check out a unique Wisconsin product that is making a big-time fashion statement. Entrepreneurism is absolutely vital to a successful and a thriving economy. We need more entrepreneurs to start and to grow successful businesses in our community and to create jobs here so that this great city on the Great Lake can be all that it truly can be. Cardinal Stretch University is known by employers, parents, and students as a place where graduates create their success. We've inspired more than 34,000 people to find and live out their mission. Now it's your turn to find out what it takes to change the world. Find out why earning a degree from Cardinal Stritch University will change your life. Welcome. How can I help? My name is Edder, and it rhymes with cheddar. With cheddar. Yes. How do you spell that? Uh, it's E D E. -R. Cheddar or Edder? Yeah. You're, you're from Wisconsin, <laughs> and you're asking that? Come on. Edder. It's probably yeah. your middle name. Come on. <laughs> the name of my company is Fruta Artesana. Fruta is the Spanish word meaning fruit, and artesana, the Italian word meaning handcrafted. Now, when my parents moved here to this country over 30 years ago, the only jobs they could find were selling cotton candy and roses, and the occasional seasonal fruits along the highway exits. Today, I'm proud to say that we've taken their first steps and turned them into leaps and bounds. Fruit Artesana is a company that creates elegant designs for particular events. We've been doing it for about a year and a half. Uh, we, our designs usually would take around four hours, but we brought it down to about 35 minutes. So the business, is, is it pretty much a startup business right it's now? It's pretty much a startup business. We started in April. And it's we, you, and who else? It's a family business, which is why I mentioned my parents. So is your plan to expand it? Our plan is to expand. How do you scale it? We plan to scale by, currently our capacity is about 20 designs per work hour day, 10 hour work day. But if I can, I'm pretty sure I can train people, uh, at least two more people so we can double that. What kind of pricing do you have? How do you compare to the ice sculptures? Well, our pricing right now per centerpiece is goes for $140. So for example, our friends wanted a very unique gift for their wedding. And so this was our response. We designed, two custom centerpieces for our friends, uh, Sadir and Nicole. These are centerpieces surrounded by flowers and everybody was taking pictures, putting them on Instagram, hashtagging it for the wedding. So it was a really big hit. So now let's say that we are in the performing arts business and they're playing Rodgers and Hammerstein Cinderella. Why not let us capture that moment when the prince places the slipper on Cinderella? It creates a really wow moment for people when they come in. We'll create logos, 
roses, hearts, and swans. I love it. Let's stop right there. I love it. You, you've Here's got it. Right. Yep, you've got it. That box logo is actually pretty cool. I've got to take it back to the office and pretend I did it. <laughs> but how do you how do you take a product that's somewhat standardized mm -hmm. and then make it unique for when you when you sell it over that weekend? I'm just uh, thinking of ways that we could help scale it for you or that you could help scale it. Yeah, well, we've, tr we've gone with universal themes. So if you look at the rose and the heart, that, I mean, that speaks to everybody. It speaks love, it speaks passion. So it's a really good for weddings. This is what we come up with and everybody's been pretty happy with our design so far. Uh, I mean, the wow factor is there. Tell us what keeps you up at night. Entrepreneur, especially starting off, it's difficult to, to make your money back. You know, you, you get in the business thinking you're gonna make it back and then you meet other entrepreneurs that tell you the reality of how long you have to wait and how you have to scale, what you need to take a step back and when you need to move forward. Uh, so what keeps me up at night is just wondering if people aren't gonna like it. So we open well, it up. they'll like it. Uh, it's just whether so. you're gonna make money doing that. Thank yeah. you very much. Very Thank creative. You. Thank you. Good Thank you. Very cool. Thanks. Good job. Hi. Edder, hi. How's How was your experience? Uh, it was my first experience doing this. Uh, it was really fun. I got really nervous, but uh, practice will make me better. Okay, but you made it through. I made it through. All right, well, Thank congratulations. You. Thank you. All right. Next, this entrepreneur pitches her Wisconsin-made leather chaps. Entrepreneurialism is at the heart of economic growth here in Wisconsin. And I applaud Project Pitch It for all their efforts in highlighting entrepreneurs here in Wisconsin that bring creativity and new business to our state because it benefits all of us. I'm Darian Driver, proud superintendent of Milwaukee Public Schools. We have an exciting new culinary arts and restaurant management program. Please consider volunteering as a chef mentor in our classrooms or providing support for our planned kitchen upgrades. Milwaukee Business Journal. We help business and community leaders. Build their businesses. Advance their careers. And simplify their professional lives. Milwaukee Business Journal delivers the information you need. Education on how to grow your career. And events where it's simple to meet new people. And make business connections. The Marka Center is proud to have been Wisconsin's premier arts destination for nearly 50 years and committed to connecting our community to the arts for the next 50 years. World-class performances, memorable experiences. Come, find your connection. At Cardinal Stritch University, we know that not all graduate schools are the same. In our classrooms, you'll find trendsetters in business, healthcare, and education. Find out how our graduate students at Stritch get a jump start on finding success. Schedule your visit for one of our upcoming events. Hello. 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 How are you all doing today? We're doing Good. great. How are you? I'm fabulous. Thank you. My name is Tamara, and this is my son Jacob, and this is Terry and Monty. Today we're going to introduce you to a product that's revolutionizing the motorcycle and horseback riding industry. I'd like to introduce you to D3 Rifts Designer Chaps. I'd like to tell you what makes our product so special. First off, it's the patented design. It's designed to fit snugly over any shoe or boot. So when people are riding, it protects them from the wind, the rain, road debris, and nothing comes up the front of the boot. Also, our leather. Our tannery is in Milwaukee. It's one of the oldest tanneries in Wisconsin and we work very hard to come up with a proprietary tanning process that makes our leather durable, yet supple and comfortable and strong. Where does your leather come from? Does that come from Wisconsin as well? Absolutely, everything's from Wisconsin. The hides actually come from Nebraska and Texas, but the tannery is here in Milwaukee. And then they're all hand sewn by a gentleman and his family up in Hortonville, Wisconsin. So they're each individually hand sewn. So we're very, very proud to be from the United States and made in Wisconsin. Tell us a story. How, how does D3 Rifts get started? Oh, well, a couple of years ago, I went to a Harley Davidson rally and I was wearing another pair of chaps, half chaps, and I took and I blung them up with jewelry. And I couldn't walk five feet without people stopping me. And I couldn't believe that there wasn't anything like it on the market, but there wasn't. 
but the chap that I was wearing was very rigid and uncomfortable. So I went to Goodwill and I started to cut apart boots to find a way to make a chap that you couldn't tell was a chap that fit like a boot. So not only are they fashionable, but they offer protection when you're riding. What kind of sales have you had so far? Well, we've been out on the market just over a year and a half, and we've done 17 shows. We traveled the country, Jacob and I, and we've sold over 500 chaps, and we've made just under $140,000. And you have one guy that does all of the sewing? Yes. So yes. what are you, you going to do when he starts selling 1,000 or 2,000? Um, we will, we, we, he has a very, very large facility, and we'll hire on more people as the sales go up. Why do you need our money? Product is very expensive. The leather hides are very expensive. Um, I'd like to uh, invest in more marketing. All of our sales were done on the road. Do you marketing, need more money or more expertise? Both. Yes, absolutely both. Jacob and I are running this all by ourselves. And so expertise, money to infuse, to get marketing out there, to get the name and the product out there. To keep that Wisconsin connection, um, yes. which I love. How about going to Harley? They have a tremendous clothing line and they make tons of money doing that. This would be perfect. Harley, actually, if I was just to put 50 chaps in each Harley dealership in the United States, there's approximately 860 just in the United States, 50 chaps, that would be $1.5 million wholesale. Do you have any competitors? None. What kind of margin are you at? 65%. I love all the Wisconsin connections. That's great. And it's obviously a high quality, good looking product. Everything is interchangeable and removable. This is my newest creation. Fringe is in these days. You've got me very excited with the fringe. <laughs> tell, tell me about price points. Yeah. Price points, they start at $229 for the basic black, and they go up to $399. Tell us about your difference. What makes you special about this company? Your secret sauce. My secret sauce is my passion. I don't quit. I have been through so many hurdles, so many days I don't wanna get out of bed, and I get up, I get dressed, and I go and I conquer it. That's great. What a great product for it Wisconsin. Is. So I just want to, if you don't have any more questions, I want to thank all of you. And uh, D3 Riffs is going to stay in Wisconsin. And remember D3 Riffs because we're going to be around for a long yeah, time. Yeah, you have a great future ahead of you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Coming up, the moguls break down the pitches. At On Milwaukee, we're honored to be a part of the entrepreneurial and media and innovation spirit that this state has. So my hat is off to the people at Project Pitch It because it's provided another avenue to tell the wonderful stories of all the great people that get out of bed every morning and say, all right, I am going to make the entrepreneurial spirit bigger, bolder, and brighter in the state of Wisconsin. What can you count on? There's that friend who always calls at the right time. That special set of wheels, always ready to roll. Here's something else you can count on, electricity. Just flip a switch and your life powers up. At American Transmission Company, we help make sure electricity is there when you need it. That's what we do, deliver economical, reliable power for your everyday life. American Transmission Company, helping to keep the lights on, businesses running, and communities strong. And welcome back to Project Pitch It. You have just heard three great entrepreneurs pitch their products. Now it's time for the moguls to make their decision. Three companies, all a little different, all a little unique, all at different stages. D3 Riff, already $140,000 in sales, already 500 orders. Yeah, it's a, it's a little difficult uh, because they all are at three different stages and you're absolutely right, Project Rift is farther along. They uh, are, are revenue producing, which the other ones really are. The speaker one maybe to a degree. Yeah, and I think it's a great product. I think they will be successful. I do too. I mean, it matches the, uh, the emotional, the, uh, the passion, as well as the scalability. It's a real product. Yeah. And the fruits are company. Yeah. 
a good idea. It almost seems like a hobby or a weekend job. The, the hard part with that one is how do you scale it? Yeah, how do you scale it up? But it still could be a really good, in, it still sure. could be a really good job. It could be a, a good opportunity to help some people and, and do something yeah, very Yeah, no, creative. great looking product. The, the technology in a wood product and how it increases the audio sound. My, my head was around other manufacturing companies that are involved with wood products and how do you integrate this? I love increasing jobs in Wisconsin. When I was involved in doing it, everything was high mix, low volume because your margins had to be, your price points are a lot higher than if you're selling more of a commodity product. And you gotta get that cost and resale down. It just, it's too expensive. I, I love the product. The sound was great, the look was great. I liked everything about it. Where the volume is and your wholesale is such a big part of the business, yeah. it's a real challenge to. to but 80% was sold, he said, through e-commerce, where his margin was a lot higher. All good products, all three of them had great products. Coming up, the Moguls award over $30,000 in cash and prizes. Hi, I'm Omar Sheck of Surge Restaurant Group, and I can tell you as an entrepreneur that entrepreneurism is the path to jobs, economic growth, and community strength and vitality. So join me in Project Pitch It to inspire local entrepreneurs to make our local marketplace and this community better. Guys, welcome back all together. We're, we're, we're really excited to kind of go through your presentations from, from Craft Audio, which is an entire new market for us, to Riffs, to Artisan Fruit. We were really kind of captivated by your presentations and really wanted to go through what you've been awarded. It's been a difficult decision for us, but uh, Michael, you're gonna get dinner at Milwaukee's newest and best steakhouse rare, but that's just the bonus. But what you're really gonna get is Bright Star Foundation, which is a charitable foundation which has invested millions of dollars in over 24 businesses in the past three years. Members of the investment committee will sit down with you and talk over what it takes to be a successful business in Wisconsin because we've done it now for three years. And you'll have free reign to give us a call with some other ideas, other things that might be helpful to you and we look forward to working with you. Thank you. I loved all three of the products. I loved the creativity of the products, the quality of it. It was, it was, it was a tough decision. Um, Edder, we're uh, going to give you the Stretch Pitch It Award. And what that means is you're going to be able to take classes at Cardinal Stretch University. You'll be able to have professors mentor you. And you'll also be able to use space at Cardinal Stretch to help with your business and possibly your business plan moving it forward. Uh, the value on it is a little bit over $10,000, so it's quite an award. Congrats. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, yeah. And Tamara, your passion always shows through. And it seems <laughs> like in everything that you do, you're, you've created revenue in such a short period of time, $140,000, already 500 clients. As you go forward, we're gonna provide you with $10,000 and I'd like to personally help you as I created a stuck coaching business after I sold my company. Are there opportunities to private label your business? Are there opportunities to grow into different market sectors? What are the price points? So we'd love to help you there. But to all three, congratulations. You are remarkable, remarkable people in creating businesses like this in the state of Wisconsin can only help all of us. Thank you. Thank Congratulations you Congratulations so to all much. of you. Thanks, yep. guys. Thank you. You've been great. Thank you. Thanks for creating jobs in Wisconsin, too. Thank you. I'm so excited to work <laughs> with you. I studied all you guys, and that's <laughs> awesome. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. If you want to support these entrepreneurs, visit our website for more information about their products and companies. If you have an idea for the next great Wisconsin business, we want to hear from you. Visit projectpitchit.com.